everyone. I hope everybody's doing well. I haven't really found a workaround. Well, I found a workaround the the editing software that I have, but it's not the fix. I'm still working with them about that. But I just wanted to take some time to uh, show you guys what's blooming. This one was a really big surprise. I think I've had this for over gotta be over a year. This is a dendrobium, and I wanted one on a stick, and I finally found, finally got one. And but it never bloom for a while, and then it had. Let me see if I can find. Okay, much much better. We're not moving anywhere. The plant may be moving, but I'm not. So anyway, this was the first one a few months ago, and it just blasted, and I'm like, oh my god, I've had you for so long, and you're not blooming for me. And then all of a sudden, you know, I was outside, I was treating it, pretty much watering it every day. Um, I was hanging with, you know, with one of the Vandas, and when the Vanda get watered, it was getting watered too. So finally, it did bloom. Um, there's one right here that's... And that's just one, if I can... So this one's got one bloom. Um... Try to see where the other two are coming from. There you go. So there's one with two two blooms. And then this one's coming up. It's got three blooms. And then so I thought this one was gonna flower first, but it it didn't. Uh again the the ones back there are the one that uh, flowered first. So now all of a sudden it's giving me two more spikes. And again, I've just been watering it every day uh, with the Vanda still, even though it is inside because it's terribly cold outside now. Um, during the day, what's well, supposed to warm up this week, but for the most part, during the day, during the evening, it's just been like in the 40s. But it's really doing really great. Not sure if I mention it, it is the Dendrobium Rain Dance. The rest are the you know the the ones that are blooming are from the ones that I just recently purchased from Carmela so far only a few have blasted let me uh bud status so let me let me get you close to some of the ones that have actually opened up I think there's only huh it's only one that opened up hang on what you are looking at is the dendrobium barana stripe so beautiful it still has one two three four five six seven eight nine flowers that i hope won't blast as you can see she's pretty high up there so she did open up so i was really happy about that right next to that is my my own barana beauty on my account looks like she's got Five. There's, you can see probably four, and there's one right, could be, yep, right behind that, there's a fifth one. I'm so happy about that. I can't believe she gave me another bloom. Whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. Little green apple still doing well. I don't see any other spike. That seems to be the last one for the year, but it's hanging on in there. And if you can see at the very top, there looks like a little yellow, I'm sorry, with the blur finger. But like where the top there seems to be like a little yellow, and that's uh, that's blasting. That's a bud that's uh, have blasted. So, way way. It's a single bloom still on the Lily Catlia Tower Rose variation Sorella Sfio. I think I can see from here. Cross with Lily Catlia Cornelia variation Sorella. Uh, Floralia. So it's got one bloom and then right behind that, I don't know if you can see, kind of peeking up there is the, of course, my Dark Joy, my original one. And it still has some bloom, uh, not a whole lot, and I think that's probably uh, it for it, but I'm just ecstatic that it still has bloom, so yay. The bandits are doing well, they're kind of hanging. Hanging around. You got this pole that my 
has been made for me for now. So they're just kind of hanging. I can let me back up so you guys can see. Doof. There they are. I have a few that I'm kind of watering right now, so they're all over the house. Thank God my husband doesn't mind. Let's see what else we've got. Sorry for the glare there, but this is the best view for this, so uh, the Drobium Nobly that it's an OID. This is the one that reminds me of Hawaii. I was going to go ahead and put, uh, have it go take a, re a winter rest, but I just noticed that it decided to give me two buds there, and there's another, and there's, there's two in there, so... I guess it's not getting a winter rest. It wants to flower, so I'm letting it because I love, love, love this flower. So, so pretty. Everything else is pretty much just kind of growing. No other spike uh, to show you guys. Just more growth and more growth and happy about that. I love looking at this, so I'll give you guys something pretty to look at. So anyway, the Mon Millennium Witchcraft didn't do anything for um, look, I had had purchased it last year and then I thought it would have a winter rust but it didn't loose any of its leaves so I didn't decided oh, okay fine you don't want to go on a winter rust so what I did is when it got really warm I kind of pretty much left it outside and didn't pay much attention to it water it let the sun get to it and have its fun and the rain just went crazy and it was out there and it was getting wet and uh, last week, last weekend I noticed that it was sitting in water so I took it out of there to let it dry and today I was watering it and I saw I think three spikes. I think I might have butchered the uh, Millennium. I oh, gotta have a bug on me. All right, there's the name on Millennium Magic Witchcraft. And it is showing, it's got a bug too. Oh, it's probably the same bug that was on me. I mean, it's showing three spikes. It didn't do anything last year because I got it early, early in the year, I think. I can't remember. Age will do that, you forget things. Anyway, I'm so excited about this, and um, Caleb, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. I wanted to show you the, I'm hoping that you receive the seeds that I sent you, and I'm going to show you what the ones that I planted uh, last month. Hang on. So here are the uh, string of hearts that I planted last month. I harvested quite a few uh, number of seeds and I still have some left. I sent some over to Caleb and I just wanted to give him um, an update on the ones that I planted last month. I can't even remember how many I placed in there. Maybe eight or ten just to see how many would survive. Put some soil together. Um, cactus mix. Did I do cactus mix? I did a Cactus mix with peat moss and some warm casting. Just very little warm casting. So I just threw them in there. Put the Ziploc over them a few weeks later. Here they are. I'm probably going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave them in the bags, but I'm not going to close it anymore so they get some fresh air now. Probably in the next couple of weeks, I will go ahead and plant them in their own little pot as you can see I don't know if you could but as you can see they already already have the little shape of hearts so I'm so cute that I just wanted Caleb to see what they look like and what to expect again I didn't do anything fancy just a uh, cactus mix with some peat moss and some warm casting and uh, zip locked and uh, didn't think they were going to make it but they did so I'm happy about that anyway thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I didn't see anything else in buds um oop hang on it's not fully open yet but I thought this would be a prettier to uh, look at while I end the video this is one of the Carmela's uh, video that was in bloom dendrobium Emma Burano white really really pretty 
green and white, I guess. Uh, again, it's not fully open yet, and it has uh, three more buds that are waiting to open up. So anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will see you guys in your next video, and have a great weekend. Bye!